several strokes of a brush and lots of lots of paint are two of the main components for a historic idea. Once I saw this empty space and this open canvas, uh, it was a matter of coming up with a design. The 116-foot long mural will be displayed at Wasago ISD's Performing Arts Center. Steve Valdez is the administrator for the PAC. Steve's goal for the mural was to add lots of color to the once gray wall. Valdez wanted the artistic experience and appreciation for the arts to come to life as soon as visitors walk through the door. Steve knew his vision would become a reality with the help of two people. Having an idea is one thing, but having somebody carry out that idea is something else. So fortunately we have a, a very creative graphic artist in Darlene. And, and when I gave Dar Darlene the idea and the assignment, what you see behind me is what she came up with. All I asked her to do was to make sure that all, that all of the arts were included. He came and told me, he goes, I have this idea. I want a huge mural, I want to cover up that space, I want to add texture. I'm thinking music across. I want mariachi, I want you to incorporate a painter, I want you to incorporate dance, I want you to incorporate what a theater art is. Darlene Gracia is KWAS TV's graphic designer. This was her first time designing a mural. She says it took her about a month to complete the project because she researched different murals, illustrated images by hand, and chose vibrant colors that complemented each other. The mural includes a painter, a singer, mariachi, a ballerina, and theater characters. A music staff ties them all together. The one thing that I like is, is that she she didn't put any faces on any of the students or on any of the performers on stage. And that makes this piece, to me, it makes it timeless. Darlene says she ultimately wanted it to look like what's the ghost students. Uh, once they told me it was an artist, it's like, okay. So I had to go out there, measure, and I had to break it up by 10 feet and bring it down. And I had to make sure each image that was broken down into like, t t I wanna say it was 10 squares. So I had to break it up and then send it to the printer. And as I was laying it out, that's when it came to life for me. It's like, wow, this thing's actually gonna go up. When Darlene finished her section of the project, she then handed artist Danny Serrano a 12-page layout of the mural. But it was like a challenge, you know, so you know, I could do this. I haven't, this has been one of the biggest pieces I've done here in the district, so I was up for it. Danny has been working at Wasico ISD for eight years. You can see his work at various locations within the district. Danny says this is his first time working on a mural. His experience made the process easier. I grid it out, scale it, measure, and I just lay it out. Once I sketch it out, then I start laying it from the foundation like anything. First, I gotta go with my back color. So that's when it gets kind of more tedious and you, know, you gotta know what you're doing. Here when I start this piece, I start the circles, all the circles in the back. Then I do the splatters, like the orange, the white, the white behind the notes. And then I do the notes, then I do the girl. As he mixed colors and applied the second coat, you could see his passion with every stroke of his brush. I mean, I love, I love all of it. I don't really have a favorite. I guess I can relate more to that guy, right? I mean, because that's like me painting it. He's the one painting it, so. Once it's done, you'll look at the big picture and follow the notes and you'll be like, hey, he's the one painting it. You know, so he's the man. <laughs> Murals serve as proof that a community can work together towards one goal. Wasago ISD's goal is to expose students to the arts and give them the opportunity to learn these skills. Wasago is always doing stuff that's above and beyond. You won't see this kind of mural in any other performing arts center in any other part of the valley for a lot of reasons. And for a lot of those reasons, that's why we do it here in Wasago. I believe that we're one of those districts in the valley that's more innovative, that's more forward thinking, uh, the superintendent talks about 21st century. Uh, I mean, that's what we're all about. And, and even though this concept of, of, of artwork is, is, is stroke and hand, 
in a lot of ways it's problem solving. It's taking a space and turning it into something that's a usable space. The mural sits at the front of the auditorium as a sneak peek of what the audience can expect on stage. It reflects all the talented students from the past, present, and future at Wasco ISD. I would like to thank Wasco ISD for giving me the opportunity to actually make my dreams come true. So it's pretty cool that I can represent East and let alone represent Wasco. Like it was actual, actually a Wasco artist that came out and was able to help with this mural. These three Wasako alumnus put their creative talents together to leave their mark at a place that led them to where they are today. It's going to catch a lot of people's attention. I mean, people around your districts are going to start talking like, hey, you know, so it's good. You know, we need to set the standard, right? We're Wasako. <laughs> the mural started as an idea. That idea came to life with the help of a creative mind and 21st century technology but it was the passion the painter used in every stroke of his brush to perfect what he likes to call his masterpiece. For KWS TV, I'm Heather Arevalo.